a remarkable predator once roamed, or should I say slithered across Australia, the Wanambi. This genus of large, non-venomous constrictor snakes existed from the Miocene to the Pleistocene epochs, leaving a significant mark on the fossil record and on Aboriginal mythology. The story of Wanambi offers a fascinating glimpse into the ancient ecosystems of Gondwana, the supercontinent from which modern-day Australia, Africa, South America and India once formed a part. Members of Matsoidae, which Wanambi is part of, is an extinct family of mostly Gondwanan snakes with fossil records that exist all over the aforementioned continents. The first fossils of Wanambi were discovered at the Narracourt Caves in South Australia. These caves are a renowned site for Pleistocene fossils and have yielded many significant discoveries of prehistoric fauna. The genus Wanambi was first described by paleontologist Meredith Smith in 1976 based on these fossil findings. Narracourt Caves are a World Heritage Site and have been a rich source of information on Australia's ancient wildlife. The caves' fossil deposits provide critical insights into the continent's paleoecology and the species that lived there during the late Quaternary period. Unfortunately, there are very few pictures of Wanambi online that are available to use, so I will have to intersperse this video with footage of modern-day snakes like the anaconda, which sucks but I believe the story of Wanambi should still be told nonetheless. Wanambi narracortensis, one of the two recognised species of this genus, was a formidable creature, growing up to 4 to 6 metres or 13 to 20 feet long. The other species, Wanambi barrier, was relatively smaller, reaching less than 3 metres or 9.8 feet in length. Despite their size, Wanambi snakes had relatively small skulls, which were less expandable than those of modern day pythons. This anatomical feature likely restricted their diet to small to medium sized mammals, unlike their modern relatives who can consume much larger prey. The story of Wanambi is deeply rooted in the ancient history of the Matsoidae family, a lineage of snakes that thrived across Gondwana. Fossils of these snakes have been discovered on all of the southern continents, indicating a widespread distribution before the breakup of Gondwana. These snakes were among the last of their kind, surviving in Australia long after they had disappeared from other parts of the world around 55 million years ago. The isolation and unique ecological conditions of Australia likely allowed these ancient serpents to persist for so long. Wanambi's jaws can be considered primitive compared to those of modern day snakes. While they were capable of significant constriction, their skull structure was relatively less flexible and their jaws less expandable. This limited jaw expansion is a primitive trait, because in the evolutionary lineage of snakes, the ability to unhinge and expand the jaws to consume larger prey developed later. The more primitive jaw structure of Wanambi indicates that while it was a powerful predator, its hunting capabilities were somewhat limited by its anatomy. As ambush predators, Wanambi relied on stealth and strength to capture their prey. They inhabited sunlit areas near waterholes, waiting for unsuspecting animals such as wallabies and small marsupials to come for a drink. The primary method of subduing prey was constriction, a deadly technique that involves coiling around the prey and applying significant pressure through muscular contractions. Constriction works by disrupting the prey's physiological systems, primarily through circulatory arrest and respiratory failure. When a snake like Wanambi wraps around its prey, it tightens its coils with each breath the prey takes. This pressure restricts blood flow, particularly to vital organs such as the brain, leading to a rapid decline in consciousness. Simultaneously, the pressure on the chest and diaphragm prevents the lungs from expanding, causing asphyxiation. The combined effects of these processes result in a swift and efficient kill. Wanambi became extinct around 50,000 years ago, a relatively recent event in geological terms. The exact causes of their extinction are not definitively known, but several factors likely contributed. Climate change during the late Pleistocene epoch could have played a significant role, altering habitats and reducing the availability of prey. Additionally, the arrival of humans in Australia might have impacted Wanambi populations. Early humans could have hunted these snakes or their prey, and their use of fire for landscape management, known as fire stick farming, might have further disrupted Wanambi's environment. Modern research has provided valuable insights into the life and behaviour of Wanambi. Studies involving high-resolution scanning techniques have allowed scientists to create detailed models of the snake's skull and inner ear, offering clues about its lifestyle and ecological adaptations. These models suggest that Wanambi was less specialised in its lifestyle compared to some of its ancient relatives, thriving in the cooler and drier habitats of prehistoric Australia. Wanambi holds a significant place in Aboriginal mythology, particularly in the legends of the Rainbow Serpent. 
This mythological being is a powerful and sacred figure in many Aboriginal cultures, symbolising creation, fertility and the guardianship of water sources. The Rainbow Serpent is believed to have shaped a landscape, creating rivers, gorges and waterholes, features that were vital for survival in the harsh Australian environment. This mythological creature is believed to have been a guardian of these vital water sources. The stories warned against approaching waterholes alone, especially for children, due to the dangers posed by such creatures. The association of Wanambi with the Rainbow Serpent highlights the deep connection between the snake and the environment. Aboriginal stories often depict the Rainbow Serpent as a protector and enforcer of tribal law. These myths, while symbolic, emphasise the importance of water and the natural balance maintained by such powerful creatures. The tale of Wanambi is a captivating blend of science and mythology, shedding light on the ancient ecosystems of Australia and the profound connection between its inhabitants and the natural world. While the physical evidence tells us about the snake's size, diet and hunting methods, the myths enrich our understanding of how these creatures were perceived by the people who shared their world. As researchers continue to uncover more about Wanambi and its relatives, the story of these ancient snakes continue to evolve, offering new perspectives on the history of life on Earth. Thanks for watching.